Hi, my name is Melissa Fenstermaker. I'm the head trainer here at Union Lake Pet Services, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to acclimate your dog to a muzzle. If you have a dog that has a history of aggressive behavior or has bitten someone in the past, this is a dog that you would want to have a muzzle on when company is present or when you're out on a walk. Not only is this going to help prevent your dog from being able to bite somebody, but it's also a red flag and kind of a warning for other people that may be walking by. Just remember, for your dog's safety, you don't want to leave the muzzle on for extended periods of time. Some muzzles can actually restrict their breathing. We also don't want you to leave it on and leave them unattended. We want to make sure that you're supervising them at all times so that they're not going to hurt themselves trying to get that muzzle off. If you do find yourself in a situation where you need to use a muzzle, there's a lot of different ones out there on the market. There's cloth muzzles, there's basket muzzles. So we're gonna kind of show you some differences with them. So a typical cloth muzzle would be a muzzle that I'd recommend if you were going to your veterinary hospital and you needed to do a blood draw or a quick toenail trim. The downfalls to this muzzle is that your dog is primarily breathing out of their nose. So they're not able to actually open their mouth and to pant if they may be stressed out in those situations. For something that's going to be a longer period of time, we would actually recommend using a basket muzzle. There's lots of different varieties of basket muzzles out there. The brand that we like the best is called Baskerville. There's a couple of reasons for it, is it actually has a spot right here where you can feed your dog's treats and let them know that this is a good experience. They're able with how big it is to open their mouth, to fully pant, to kind of relax and let some of the stress out that way too. It also has lots of other features that I appreciate. This one is actually a strap that sticks, it kind of goes right down the seam of their head. And this actually stays on them, so once it's fitted correctly, your dog can't paw it off. So for us, if I was going to buy a muzzle today, I would buy a Baskerville one. Once you've purchased your basket muzzle, you're actually ready for the next step, which is acclimating your dog to the muzzle. We're gonna run you through a couple of steps that we find that works well. One of the things we always tell people is our goal is not to take the muzzle and to put it on the dog and to make this a bad experience. We, don't, we wanna make it as positive as we can. We want them to look at the muzzle as a fun toy, as something that could be fun for them. So as we run you through this, there's three steps to it. So step one is getting the dog just to look at the muzzle. Griffin. So we just have them look at it, and then we reward them for looking at the muzzle. Reinforcement can be anything that's rewarding. It could be food, it could be toys, but food is much faster. Good. So once they've started looking at it, then we actually want to get them, step two is to get them to put their face inside the muzzle. Good boy. So some dogs may just peek their nose in there just out of curiosity. So this is Griffin's first day ever working with a muzzle. Good boy. So if they start to get a little reluctant or if it's just not working out and they're not going in as easy, you can take the treat and hold it inside here. So then you're kind of luring them in there, but that will get them to put their face inside there and to start to get comfortable with it too. Good boy. So once you get that out of them, step three is the hardest step. So in the step three, what we actually want to do is we want to get this buckled on the dog. The reason I say that it's a harder one is it takes a lot of coordination on my half to get the dog busy in doing this. So for step three, I always like to use peanut butter or spray cheese or something like that. And I'll actually take and coat the inside of the muzzle with it. So the goal here is that Griffin is going to be super fascinated with the peanut butter on here and that he actually will let me get this buckled on him without paying attention too much. Come here. Atta boy. So you always want to make sure that you have it tight enough just so you can get two fingers under it. It's not important for their first time that it's really that tight, but it'll kind of give you that premise. Baskerville also has that one strap that we were talking about that actually clips right behind here. So and the point of that strap is that they actually can't get the muzzle off, that it's going to stay on, that they're not able to paw it off. Even though he's doing so well, we're not going to push it. This is the stage when we would take it back off of them. Most of them at this point will continue wanting to lick it and we'll kind of let them do that, but there's no pressure. It's not on them at that point. So this is kind of the steps of where we want to go and that's what it would look like. Hopefully this video was helpful. Keep in mind that while basket muzzles will prevent your dog from biting, it's not gonna fix the root problem that you have going on with your dog. We would highly recommend that you seek a trainer out, that you find a veterinary professional that you feel comfortable with that can deal with dog behavior. 
Here at Union Lake, we offer all of those services. Please feel free to give us a call anytime.